fact. I think that the uh, overpass, they will be prepared for it. They've had kind of limited time. Either way, we are into it. And we're in towards long. All four players marching up here. Jame and Sanji very ready for it. A labored kill there for Jame, but his boys have got his back. He will get traded out. It's still a four versus two very quickly in favor of VP. Sort of what they want to do in this scenario. You know, you still got a minute and ten. It's a lot of time to work with. But the problem is you haven't flushed any information away from the VP side. Buster still tucked in on this short spot. Everything is uh, is looking promising. Buster, nice headshot from him. Ships in a 1v4. And again, not the best of starts here for Skade. Overpass was a good promising pick for them. And again, it is still very early on in the game so far. But uh, maybe not the start they were looking to get off here, Scriv. There's uh, a 1v3 now for ships. A nice first kill, but I think that's just going to be the extent of the damage in this one. Oh. Ships. If you can get a bomb plant, it would be pretty nice. Whoa, okay, no oh. way. That is not the way that we start the final here. Information. Kindar. Oh, gonna go creeping in. This could be big. They've both got nades out retro. No weapon up. In for the first and the second. Nearly sets up for the third, but not quite. However, Yakindar with the heroics and the good read has found VP a man advantage. This is big, but Skade, of course, have the weapons advantage. A pick and mix between SMGs and rifles to try and brute force their way out towards a great position. Oh, Sanji, and he have hit one more shot. He could have even found a second as duplicate. He's naded down to low. That certainly is going to set Skade up. Maybe a little bit of timidity from them here before the retake even happens. Buster edging forward. He has the first line. Can't find the second. A clinical kill from Duplicate that now leaves Kicker against two. Low HP on the Galil, but Denny, he's tucked away in on long toilets. He's moving around, but Duplicate doesn't even need his teammate. A hat trick of frags gives Skate this. Mini 25 left on the clock. It looks like we're going for a B burst. A, a relatively early one here from Skade as well, as they're just going to walk their way through and try and catch the VP boys off guard, but nope. Guns are up. They are ready. Individuals certainly answering back, but the damage is done. You know, the, the nade takes down one. There's more nades available if they choose to go for it. Do need to be careful on our wide swings in the form of Sanji, but it should still be doable here. M4 going to go wide of your kinder. Sending a message. Jeez, that is cocky. And Ship's now the only one left in the one versus two. Surely does not expect the AWP on the flank. But if there's ever a man you want in this situation, it would be him after a great 4k. Oh, hold on. Never mind. Okay, I thought if Ships had turned around, the Heaven player of your Kindar would have backed away. Every round, just in case. A VP, I mean, by the way they're holding on to a lot of this offensive utility, and I mean the mollies and all that, it looks to be they're going to try and play a more passive game. But as I say that, Jane cracks open that initial A pressure. Skade lose two men early doors. Ships to try and level out the numbers ever so slightly, as he is successful onto a... Beautiful shot to Yakindar. Jame as well caught in connector down to half with the scoped in. An opportunity for Denny. Flashbang, half blind, but oh, his timing. Denny, he spots out Kicker, but it's by so much time for the rotate. Ships now on the aggressive, but it is Kicker to level things out completely. It's Sanji to back him up, and it's Rain Waker now in a 1v4 as well. Skade, they crumble. That's the VP magic right there. You know what I mean? They all understand each other so damn well in terms of the timings how they like to move in and of course peeking together sanji Ooh. nearly dropping buster he just makes it around the pillar still chipping away at these players keeping them under pressure keeping them scared always worrying kick it with a well-timed peek will take out ships meanwhile the push in towards b is coming in thick and fast buster takes out Oh, a couple of players before he falls. Kicker, meanwhile, going to get the head of Denislav. And now it is all on to Jame. As what a crazy round. Very difficult to keep up with, if I do say so myself. Jame, not impossible now in the one versus one. Kaluba with a, a, a very, very wide swing there. There's a couple of kits dropped around. He just needs to guess the right place, really. Go for the pre-fire, go for the tapping. But he doesn't expect Rain Waker out in the open. And VP, unfortunately... Like, th those cinematics are cool and all, but you watch that back, right? There is a cafe on top of toilets. And anything goes in Counter-Strike. And speaking of anything goes, Buster, he's allowed to stroll right through Skate. There's a double kill for him early doors. Ships tagged up. Next round has to be, right? And so, I guess having some value, some equity in terms of the weapons that you bring forward to... 
does have an impact into round 13 as a big opportunity, but VPL can't exactly press off the back of it immediately to warrant that knowledge. Your Kindar, oh, bit of unfortunate timing, bit of a misspoke. Ships to press through, only good for one kick. Get blind, but he still finds a second Kaluba out of the round. Sanji there to assist Denny. Has caught off the MVP for VP so far with eight seconds to go in the Orpina 1v4. He backs away once more. Four seconds remaining. Does have the angle, but Buster, he has the jump. And VP5, Skade, reset. Maybe crumbles just a tad, but a flank from Yukindar could change everything. Or oh, being watched. Will get taken down. I uh, complimented his flanking prowess in some of these earlier rounds. The issue being, this time he's been spotted out. Jame, meanwhile, was also on a flank of his own. With the orp of all weapons. Molotov on top of the bomb. Oh, an opportunity to take down Denislav. He is left very low, but he will take it. And a complete reposition coming in. They'll take the three versus two. However, the A-bomb site heavily, heavily compromised. An influential round for the pistol up ahead of us as ships. I mean... He was the man to clutch up twice, but I think he's going to be a little bit out of depth. Or is he? Because he's caught the bomb diffuser. Well, Sanji tapped it. Look at the time. There's nothing left. How on earth the VP thrown this one away? Kick it. Good for one, but James gone. The bomb's detonated. And Skate take a ninth. A 2v3. Again, a round in which VP had no opportunity to add sort of what they're going to bring to the table. To this first map. Smoke from James. Gonna be deployed. That wants to go in towards heaven. You kind all the opener ships. Ah, that is a must-needed kill and a dink onto Rain Waker. This round on a dusted duplicate is gonna fight for his own, and oh my god, does he a double? I don't know where. I mean, a Denny Slaw 1v3 isn't exactly off the cards. If you learn anything about pistols, it would be that Skade more than happily have a chance. But I think in this situation, Denny now with the information compromised, that Molly forcing him away as well. This is going to be quite a round to lose. And VP, finally, they get the better. In towards this second. We're very quickly into the rifle round from Skade. Boost coming in on the flower bed. Not ready for it here around the corner. Buster will manage to survive just about. Meanwhile, walking up banana is Yakindar. Trying to do Yakindar things. Ships will punish him. They're going to chase down Buster, who's low as well. Beautiful stuff so far. Flawless nigh on round from Skade. All down to Jame. Been in the good game for years, man. I guess you know Buster's just going for the for the cool signature of his own, right? But as a skate have a lot of knowledge that it is gonna be A because no pressure in on B. Rainwake are gonna be forced away. The Orpus ship's still on long. No one's cleared the angle, and there you go, he has it backstabbing Jane. A 4v3. I mean, no saying no to a retake quite possibly here for Skade. Two orps on the retake, though, I mean. Yeah, ships finds his kill. Still looking good for VP, if you ask me. Instant trade. And, like, how do you even get in here? Your Kindar pushing forwards could be deadly. Oh, the timing nearly awkward there as he gets that smoke down. He'll take out Rain Waker, the healthiest player. There is an AK for duplicate, which could be scary. However, he oversteps. Kaluba takes him down. It's not a lot of time, though, to get on this bomb. Buster just spraying away the one tap onto duplicate. And Kaluba going for the hole, but there's just no time at all. Buster going to try and stick around, maybe, or take him down as he goes towards long. This could be big if he drops the orb, but the bomb will drop him. Galuba takes the orb out. 30 seconds. They are looking to press forward towards B. Kaluba watching for the boost. Flash is coming in. Kaluba, the first point of contact. Double with the FAMAS could be massive, but his teammate Duplicate drops at Monster a little too easily. So we're here into an even scenario. The molly that comes in whoa, makes the rotations awkward, but a missed shot. Now we are back down to a little bit of a stalemate. They can't really find a way in on that skade side. No utility left. Just going to try and use the numbers. Shadow spotted first. Kicker with the instant reload. I don't know if he meant to do that, but it's all good. His boys have got his back on the trades. VP move into the 13th. These retakes from skade looking very dodgy. Them hope and promise into the rest of this matchup. But it is quite fast towards A. They are hard pressing for frags. It's Sanji to try and open things up. Lock in hand, Rain Waker to take him down, but it pulls enough of distraction for James AK to come alive. They are going to be quite chuffed about that one. A 3v3 in the nade to land in deep. Buster down to 35. They are continuing to take the aim jewels as Yakindar pinched out of the round. Now Skade take VP down to two, but it's level pegging for the retake. 
Somehow Buster's still alive. There it is. Kaluba finds him. And now all on to the orb. Creeps out to find Jupiter. Well read. Kaluba in the one-on-one. -on -one. Doesn't have a smoke for the bomb. Reposition towards Divider. And the double scope will get it done. Big man Jame coming alive once again on the orb to clutch up for VP. It was ships for Skade. Use everything to their advantage. The utility's looking good. But now... So let's see. 25 seconds. Here we go. Pouring on board. You look, it's got to be careful. He's turned away. He anticipates the short push to come in, but Kaluba's Famas has done a lot of damage. Buster and Jay, they've now got to claw back the numbers in Kaluba. Dishing out even more punishment. Is that Famas, man? I mean, you talk about holding probably the most pinnacle of rounds. Buster and Jane, though. And oh my god, VP, pull it back. I was talking about how important the Famas was to the round. A clinical approach taken by Kaluba, but they are no more. We push towards A now coming in. Player on the backside holding. Kicker. Has he been spotted here? Does need to be careful. The spin around coming in from long, but his spidey senses. His kicker senses, bro. That is absolutely insane. As he will take down the player on the spin around. Sanji does get traded out. However, there's just too many bodies now. All onto Kaluba. Cannot get it done. VP will take it 16 13, stealing away their opponent's map pick. Particularly because this is their map pick starting on that T side where they've just had a hell of a performance retro. Let's see if they can replicate it. Yeah, and VP on this map again. It's a side that isn't exactly unfamiliar with the battlegrounds, but Duplicate able to level the numbers only momentarily. Kick it with one. Duplicate again, a second to his name, yet to take a point of damage. Rain Waker finds another, and a 4v2 here. Skade kicking things off ever so nicely on Dust 2. The post plant, I mean, it would have looked good for the VP side had they have resumed normal positions. Kick it. Turns his back, he surrenders. He allows Skade to get the first bomb plant, though. Two Picked it back up. Saying a little prayer before he gets into the action, I suppose. And it looks like it's going to be quite a bit of action early on as they're pushing into the B tunnels. And that's exactly where the vast majority of these T players are coming from. Oh, no. B bomb site fallen. You know how this one goes, folks. Four on three. They're here pretty quickly, I suppose. At the very least, they do have this orb, which I think will be something... Vastly unexpected, but a missed shot from Dennis Lavin to window goes duplicate and straight back out he will fall. Kaluba the only one left. Very quickly VP is straight back through with their first round. And I don't need to say it. They are screwed for money on this skate side. Yeah, that's it, man. Done and dusted. VP equal like comebacks on dust two, the M point Ago game as well. Uh, not including that one, another one, in fact. I think I saw it go 11-4 at the half, in which it ended 19-15 uh, to the people that were down 11-4. And I mean, in this round, again, VP abusing that knowledge towards middle and the... And, and making them think in the moment when they perhaps have their minds back on the previous map. So... Difficult times. Very, very early for Skade. They will just... Instead, he goes up top. Move away. Dismantle the stack and maybe VP looking for a mid split. Three players out from tunnels. Rain Waker finds the first, drops down. Sanji to fall and a Molotov to cover. That is beautiful counter strike from Rain Waker. Jame looking to go for the entry on the AWP here. Going to jump across. Shot missed. There is a player up close though in the form of ships. Kaluba as well, I believe, getting involved from short. Not a chance as a flawless round for Skade comes in. Exactly what they needed. You know, you take that. Uh, uh, 45 seconds again. VP leaving it up to the last sort of portion of the round where you can't really afford to throw a fake. It has to be the full play. Sanji gets the flash, gets the go ahead. Kaluba's positioning is perfect though. VP aren't going to anticipate this angle whatsoever. Kicker to set the bomb down. Surprise, Kaluba. No way. He's going to move right through. He finds one. Try to find a second. Oh, it's all spinning back and forth, but Kicker's got them both. That was a wild round, Scriv. But VP make it work. A 5-3 scoreline. In they will come. The close variation of those Avangar smokes invented by these boys, of course. See whether they can find success, though. Big damage dealt across the board here. There it comes for VP as they will gain control of the A bomb site, keeping it always another matter, but they've got the man advantage. And oh, these CT players, man, do they want to go for this? They are miles away from the actions. A lot of unconfirmed. Found the early kill. That 5v4 advantage. Skate have been clawing back the numbers rather than exploiting them. And even when. We haven't really seen much success. Jane trying to follow the pattern as he's the man to crack open round 13. A beautiful shot to Denny Slaw. In towards CT is going to cause disruption as to the rotates. Very clean from Rainwaker. 
That shot is disgusting. Duke look at finding one through the smoke and a second as well. Short pressure unsuccessful for the VP side as Skade on par for five. Um, yeah, very crazy kind of round here from VP, just throwing the rule book out the window and doing whatever. Not really worked for them. Buster, the only one left, will also get taken down. Another nigh on flawless round for Skade. Going to give them a chance at the five and maybe even bringing this scoreline. Which is, of course, posted among these channels. You can go check out teb.gg forward slash welcome using code 421 and go to teb.gg forward slash odds. You the latest in playing odds. Beautiful stuff from Jeep. Look at open things up and the M4A when Esther Pepper down a second script. That's more like it, but I think it happens way too late in the half for. It would need them to get off to a good start. Ships might meet some resistance here in a second. Sanji, though. Oh, no idea, but that missed shot. Now the B split looks pretty promising, actually. Wait for a bit. Or maybe try and go through it. But I don't know about that one, boys. No, they are just going to wait. Thank goodness. Try and go for a boost over. Oh, a run boost, even. It does nearly catch Rain Waker. But not quite. Beautiful shot from Jame. He could isolate the 1v1 on this B bomb site, you know. Surely not going to expect him in the corner, but just rolling in, checking all his angles. We'll check this one. No smoke for the cross, but they've given him one. Hello? What? What? That's the wackiest smoke I've seen for a while. Plant's going to come in. He's going to go for the fake 35 seconds. Might as well play around a little bit, try and gather some information. Definitely, definitely doable. They're both coming through the double doors, though. He doesn't quite realize that. Trying to split around. He finds the first. Kaluba, he knows he's got to be here. He's heard the scope of the Krieg. The timing in and around this single stack is so very awkward. But Kaluba on high will drop him down. A key clutch. Pistol for them as we head into round 16. Not winning this one probably puts an end to a lot of momentum here on Dust2 and plays a lot in the favor of Virtus Pro and a great shot from Yakindar to kick things off. Looking for more though. Rain Waker jumping into the jaws. A nice shot. A second may be for Buster as he continues to tap. It's James to nick it away. But still a 3v2. The numbers start to dwindle, but the accuracy does not as ships. Rattles the dome piece of Buster. Puts things to a 2v2. P250 going to be deadly in this exchange, of course. Kicker, his shadow's been spotted there. Denislav, though, not covered. It's all onto ships again to clutch up. Can't get it done. I thought for a second. Map, you know, of course, winning this one is no mean feat. Oh, and the four-man B going to be dealing with the four-man B attack. Yakindar nearly caught as they go for the transition. It is just heavy contact. Two dinks in from Denislav. All down to kick it. Not going to happen at all. Goodness me, what a walk in there from Skade, and walk it in they will, as now Jame just moving to save. Jame time, baby, but with a deal. Um, money is given in stages in this tournament, so it rewards those for playing through the systems. We start with the regional Swiss. Qualifying out of the regional Swiss will grant you $1,000. Smoke's not exactly working out. There's a gap between them. None lands below. The Molly's put out by a smoke. Everything's going on in this round. Scrim and a huge chunk of damage done by Kicker to kick things off. Kaluba will draw first blood, though, as he forces Yakindar to the grey screen. Missed shot from Jane. Again, a solid Orpa, but just couldn't convert. And oh my good god, why have we got a late push towards middle? The execute was on short. We bail plan, and all of a sudden, Rain Waker, he has to come up huge in a 1v2. So he might get another stab at the Buster fight. Buster, well, he's not. Being fooled, is he? Savvy to the facts. Very well done. Maybe I'd put it up towards a 90. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a great opportunity, a great opener. Your Kindar tagged, but Skate have already lost two players. James Orp on the line as he continues to tear havoc. Another kill for the Orper. Spots another. James! Ooh. He's having a round, and what a way to close. VP, crown your champions. A great round from Jame, and a great shoving from Virtus Pro. A team I didn't particularly have up there, but my oh my, do they look strong, and my oh my, are they happy. As things